My name is Barbara Ludwig. I'm 85 years old. Tomorrow I will be going to my 58th consecutive Indy 500 race. My husband's cousin went to the race regularly. And in 1960, he invited my husband and me to join them at the race. And that's when I fell in love with racing. The 101st running of the Indianapolis 500. The 500 race is a world event. There are smaller tracks. I've been to them. All the people are very enthusiastic, but this is the largest one, and it's here in my city. The race car sound is one that brings back many memories and puts a smile on my face right now. And it really turns your little heart over and gets you all excited. So that sound is one of the things about racing that stays with you. The race weekend starts with family enjoying getting together and preparing for the big day. Everybody puts in five dollars and each person gets to draw one at a time a driver's name and of course they watch those very closely during the race and are rooting them on. My little thing is always first I get my program. I have that program, I've got a collection of them over the years. And then it's wending your way to the place you show your ticket and go in and then up the stairs to your seats. And there you'll see people that you've been seeing for years. You know? And it's just, uh, and, then, and then you're at the race and, and then we have our flyover. Um, but that's always that anticipated moment. And when that happens, then you know, very soon the race is going to start, and so you wait for those words. Start your engine! And we're ready to race. Those 33 cars in 11 rows, three abreast, and away they go. It's a moment that you've waited for all year, and you're just sort of breathless watching, and there they go, and who's going to take the lead those three cars in the front which one the pole position is always a great place to start but that outside guy to me has the advantage going around so and who's going to make it first and it's very very exciting <laughs> for people who go and have gone and paid attention you get to know who the drivers are and they definitely have very interesting personalities. And you can't help but, you know, have a little love affair with the guy you like the most. I did have that wish that I could drive a car like that, a race car, around that track. I didn't particularly want to race. I just wanted to know what it was like to drive. But that never happened. Oh, but I did have my ride in a race car around the 500 track, and I did get to do that. And it goes so fast, I wanted to tell the man who was helping me out of the race car when it was finished, but I just sat down. Ah, <laughs> and that was, that was a joy of my life. One of my great one of the great presents my family gave me, and I will always have a smile on my face when I think about it. So, and in fact, I'm ready to go back. Race Weekend has become an anticipated family affair. I remember um, my one son told me one day, he said, Mom, you decorate more for the race than you do for Christmas. And I kind of enjoy that always. And so it's, it's a, become one of those days of the year that you look forward to. Now it's over. Now we will um, put away the race things and start anticipating next year. It's just so entertaining and so well done 
that it's one of the highlights of the year for a real race fan. Ha, ha, ha.